There's another value add to doing this. Over time, you're gonna start to see trends. And what's really cool is I can go back 10 years and I can look at say every October, every year. And what's fascinating is you see trends, right? Sometimes we'll have a little bit of an anomaly one October and you'll see a big bump and you're like, well, why was that one so big? Well, maybe we had a special offer, or we hired new salespeople or whatever. And you can start to predict those. You can start to do things that will insulate yourself. But if you're not tracking, the tracking discipline is so important. If you're not tracking, you have no idea what to expect. Okay, we're about ready to hit the ground running to get out promoting, marketing, and lead generation for our business. But before we do that, we need to have our tracking system in place. And we're gonna talk about the scorecard right now, which is what we call it here at Master Networks, is our scorecard. And really, you could start with the seven key numbers of business to track. Just that simple to start with. You can get more sophisticated and more complicated. I mean, we have over time, we sort things out and track it. But to just to start, start with the seven key numbers. So what are the seven key numbers? They're as simple as this. It's leads, right? How many leads am I getting? Where are they coming from? All that. So how do I track my leads? Just alone sometimes stumbles and trips up an entrepreneur because they don't even know where they're getting leads, where are they coming from? Are they coming from my Master Networks chapter? Which again is a great thing because you can track them in our hub system, in our direct track. You can see that come in, go, this is how many leads I have. So you're going to track the number of leads. Second, you're going to track is the number of appointments, right? So if I get a lead, have I converted it to an appointment? So now I've tracked the appointments. And then the third is the number of sales, right? So leads, appointments, sales. This is really the productivity piece of your business, right? And what you'll find is when you're tracking leads to appointments to sales, you're going to discover something. So let's say I had 100 leads and I only set 10 appointments. What's my conversion rate? Well, it's 10%. And of the 10, let's say I sell two. So what's my conversion right there? Well, it's 20%. So then it would tell me if I want to sell four, how many leads do I need? I need 200. So this is the whole point of understanding the tracking numbers. So that's leads, appointment, sales. Then the next is income, expense, and profit. Right? These are gonna be the health of the business. Just really simple, what's the income line? What are the expenses that I spent for the week? And then what's my profit for the week? Ideally, you'd love to track this every single week when you have your meeting you've set aside every week. And if you don't know about the meetings that you do every week or the 90 day reviews or the annual meetings, go back and watch the last video where we talk about the rhythm, the meeting rhythm of your business. On those weekly meetings, you're gonna pull out the scorecard. And I went through six of those seven numbers. You're gonna track those numbers. How many leads did I get in the last week? How many appointments did I set? And how many sales did I make? What was the income, what was the expense, and how much profit? The seventh number, which I actually think is so important, it stands by itself, and that is the number of contacts in your database. Uh, what's a database? The database is the place you keep those contacts. By the way, it's not a spreadsheet, it's not an Excel spreadsheet, it's not your email list, it's not in your phone, those are not the databases we're talking about. Put this in a system, like we use a system, a high five system, which we'll put a link in the, the comments. Again, you can, can look at that. There's all kinds, there's you know Salesforce, Infusionsoft, Keep. Gosh, there's hundreds if not thousands of them out there. You want one that's simple and easy to use. That's the whole point. Will you use it? If you're not gonna use it, then it doesn't matter how many features it has. But the reason why you wanna track the number of people in this database is you can clearly assign a dollar amount to each person. Think about it this way. Years ago, I was consulting and coaching a home builder. And I remember going to his office and talking to him about the fact that he'd been in business for 17, 18 years, something like that. And as I'm helping him grow his business, sales were down. And I said, you know, you've been building homes for 17, 18 years. I don't know how many you were building a year. Let's say 20 homes a year. Over 18 years, that's like 100 and what, 160 homes, right? Is that right? Like that's, that's no, it's even more than that, right? I don't know. I can't do math, right? No, it's 360 homes. That's 360 homes a year that you've, you've been selling. Somebody check my math, make sure I'm totally right on that. That's 360 homes a year or over the 18 years that you've sold. Where are all those people? Where are all those names so we can be hitting them up, right? If you built a home 10 years ago, those people are gonna be ready to maybe build again and we need to be contacting those people. Anyway, he points to a file cabinet over in the corner and he's like, yeah, all the files are in there. I'm like, wait, all the files are in there. You're not contacting them. You, you have no way to look up. He's like, yeah, I could go back and pull up, you know, 2005 and look up who I built a home for. I'm like, oh, that's not going to work. Your business, the thing you're building, the asset you're building is your database. It is the names in your database. And I'll talk more about that on another video. Now, 
you're going to take this scorecard, put it in a spreadsheet, and every single week, you're gonna put something like leads, appointments, sales, set a goal for each week. Hey, I wanna bring in 10 leads this week. Then when you come to your weekly meeting, put how many you actually have. And you can do something simple, like you can, it's green if it's above the 10, it's red if it's below, or something like that, just so you can simply track. There's another value add to doing this. Over time, you're gonna start to see trends, right? So we've been tracking literally from day one. And what's really cool is I can go back 10 years and I can look at, say, every October, every year. And what's fascinating is you see trends, right? Sometimes we'll have a little bit of an anomaly one October and you'll see a big bump and you're like, well, why was that one so big? Well, maybe we had a special offer or we hired new salespeople or whatever. But overall, you'll start to see trends throughout your year and you can start to predict those. You can start to do things things that will insulate yourself. But if you're not tracking, the tracking discipline is so important. If you're not tracking, you have no idea what to expect. The other part of that scorecard and tracking discipline is that often in our minds, we think we've done more than we actually have. Or in some cases, depending on what it is, we'll say we don't have enough leads. Well, I only had five leads this week, but when you actually track it and you go back and you look, you're like, holy smokes, I'm averaging nine leads per week. I'm clearly not selling enough. So this is a really important part of your rhythm to your meetings is having this scorecard. So go ahead and start filling out, go over the last week, start creating your goals for all those seven key numbers and I'll see you on the next video.